Nigella Lawson has written a new cookbook called Nigella Christmas Food Family Friends Festivities. And it's sure to spice up your holiday entertaining with some simple yet sinful recipes. Nigella, good morning. It's good to see you. It's lovely to see you. And happy holidays. I, 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 I know we're doing chili. And I look, we've got the beans and the meat and the peppers. And then I see chocolate chips. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, traditionally chili often has some cocoa powder in because that cocoa has, obviously, it's the base of chocolate, but it's quite bitter. I mean, it's not sweet. I'm not, I wouldn't put, you know, some milk chocolate in here, but a, that bit of depth and smokiness and richness really adds a level. But the to initial the chili. preparation is very traditional. So what are we going to do? Yeah. So I've got onions and garlic and some chili, and then. Some cinnamon. I think you, at the holidays you should be arrested never, for not I've putting never cinnamon. Never tried in cinnamon in the chili. Oh, it's so comforting and lovely. Okay. And some cumin, some coriander. And you've got the onions in there that have been sautéing. Yeah, absolutely. And now yeah. another hit. I like it quite hot. So another hit of chili flakes and some cardamom. Cardamom is kind of rather a wonderful spice that was used both in the sort of Eastern Mediterranean and mm -hmm. in Scandinavia. It's weird that, that the travels. Tomato paste, to the ketchup. ketchup. I'm getting everything. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm unembarrassed about that. Some chorizo sausage. Sausage, okay, that'll you be can nice, put nice spice sausage to it. If sure. you want. Now, this you can use a shin or shank of beef or just regular stew beef. And basically, we can put all those in, but we know, like, so you have the tomatoes. Okay, there's a tomato. And. You see, see, you've got me saying tomato. Oh, so it. that's good. <laughs> so I put the tomatoes and beans in, but I just do want to show you okay. at this stage. This what is it where would we'd look be. Like. I mean, look at this. Is this? See this? Can you imagine? You have a large crowd of people. Some chocolate now, chips. Now, what made you decide to put chocolate chips in? Well, just because I wanted to see if you. I think chocolate, if it's dark chocolate or bitter, this is bittersweet chocolate, actually does lend itself to that kind of mole taste, the, the richness. I think it adds a real something. You would never guess there was chocolate in there. It doesn't give it, it doesn't taste like candy. Well, let's walk around. Well, you can tell. Let's walk around, you. yeah, and, and look at the, the, the final preparation as we magically yes. move time forward here. Well, that's, we are disobeying the laws of physics. And you like, I see you've got a baked potato on the side, oh, stuffed yes. potato. So, you okay. know, the, this will mop up any seasonal excess. Okay, I've got to try this. Okay, let me give you a teeny bit of parsley because it just looks... How do you describe the taste of people? Because people I are... think that it's really got a kind of roundedness and a sumptuousness mm -hmm. that makes you feel both comforted as well as uh, bolstered. Hmm. You I can't do, really I do, taste the chocolate. I, I do t taste the cardamom yes. in here. But just in case that's not enough for you, I it's have a girdle good. buster pie. I heard this girdle buster pie. I mean, I mean that probably the, says, the name says it all. I know it says it, but, but just just for the record, what all is in it? Uh, it's chocolate chips, graham crackers, ice cream, and a bourbon caramel sauce. So it's a light snack. And truth in advertising, <laughs> girdle busting. Michelle Lawson, thanks very much. Thanks for being here. Thank you.